Hey guys, Lee Labrada here, coming at you from the Labrada Nutrition Gym in Houston, Texas. And today I have my son, Olympian and IFBB Pro, Hunter Labrada, who just won the Chicago Pro and punched his ticket to the 2021 Mr. Olympia. Hunter, congratulations. And uh, I know that there's uh, people out there that uh, want to know answers to some of these very popular questions. And so I'm just going to uh, uh, ask you a few of those. Uh, Hunter, what was your goal going into the Chicago Pro? Well, uh, you know, first and foremost, before we get into those questions, um, I just want to thank all of y'all uh, from the deep down bottom of my heart uh, for following along this whole prep. I have a lot of fun doing the prep series uh, that I've done, you know, from the Europa all the way till this one, the most recent one. Um, they've gotten better and better as I've gotten better and better. Um, we've found the awesome video team, an awesome picture team, an awesome in-house team to really just pump content out with. Uh, and it's been very well received from y'all. We've had a lot of fun doing these. We have no intention of slowing it down. Uh, we actually are taking a lot of steps towards being able to put out a lot more regular content. You know, we're doing a lot of uh, content around of our Pro Series athletes um, and just keeping it exciting. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, the next coming months. Myself, you know, prepping for the O, we'll be giving you all about as down and dirty and an inside look of that as you can possibly have. Uh, several of the other Pro Series athletes are competing in their shows uh, sooner than later and then at the end of the year as well. Um, my training partner Brian's about to be doing his show in the North American, so it's just a really exciting time uh, for the business as a whole. So I couldn't be more happy, and uh, I couldn't feel more blessed to have uh, you know gotten the job done this last weekend and to had all y'all along with me for the ride. So, like I said, from the deep down bottom of my heart, thank you for following along. I cannot tell you how much the appreciate the uh, support means to me. But uh, anyways, now that we've done that, let's get to the questions. Yes, sir. So uh, couldn't have said it better myself, Hunter. We really appreciate everybody. And uh, what was your goal uh, as you approached the uh, sh uh, Chicago Pro? Uh, the goal for Chicago was the same goal that it's always been. I trained to win. Um, you know, it was it was never a, you know, let's go see how we do this, that, and another. The only contest that I've ever been about that in my life has been the Olympia. And that's because, not because I don't believe in myself, but because you have to be realistic about it. You can't expect to beat people that have been doing it 10 times as long as you and who are just as genetically blessed as you. So I'm very pragmatic when it comes to things, but like I said, any other show besides the Olympia that I enter, I am training to win it. And I am gonna be absolutely beyond disappointed if I don't. So that's what we got, uh, got done this time. Like I said, we handled business, but yeah, I always train to win. If you're not training to win, you don't need to do the show. Eye of the Tiger, man, for sure, and uh, spoken like a true champion. So how did you change your training going into the Chicago Pro? Like, what, what did you prioritize? So it was no secret after the Olympia last year, the two things that we needed to improve were the conditioning that we showed up with on show day, and then the amount of muscle I carried in my back, especially my lower lats. So this entire off season, the focus was around that. Uh, we trained on the same split that we trained on for the Olympia prep for most of the off season. And as we entered the Chicago Pro prep, we dramatically shifted the split around. Um, it's still basically a modified push-pull leg split, but we were able to essentially double the volume for my back in the same amount of time. So, and when I say double the volume in the same amount of time, like double the working sets that I was doing in the same amount of time. So. Um, priorly, I was doing like maybe like eight working sets every six days. I'm now doing, you know, like 14 to 16 every seven. So we were able to dramatically increase the frequency for my back while keeping everything else around the same because everything else was growing at a rate that was, uh, you know, more than acceptable. So um, really just focused on adding the size to my back this whole off season and uh, all of prep, honestly, because this prep, I definitely feel like I was truly growing until like the last month, probably. You know, that's something that the uh, the guys back in the day uh, used to talk about, you know, being ready a couple of weeks before the show and then growing into the show. And, uh, you know, certainly you did that. And so congratulations on that. And now what uh, changed in terms of your diet and your, your nutrition? You know, how, what kind of, were there any substantial changes in the approach like the, uh, between uh, the Olympia and the Chicago Pro? Yeah, definitely. So, um this is the first contest that I did that uh, we prepped myself. Me and Brian did everything for myself. Um, and you know, I was my, at my best for it. Um, what was different, I ate a lot more. Um, in preps past, I especially, you know, like the last four or five weeks, um, 
you know, at this point, I'm gonna call it suffering unnecessarily because I didn't suffer that badly this prep and I was leaner than I ever was before for any other show. So um, the biggest thing for me this prep was Brian and I were able to take a look at me every day and feed me enough to keep training performance high and to keep my body going but not enough to where I am not losing my body fat at the rate that I need to. So, you know, by being able to see me every single day, fasted check-ins and after we train, we were really able to feather the food, the entire prep, you know, in a way that you can't do really working remotely. So that was one of the biggest changes. And then, you know, another thing that people still don't really, you know, not realize, but, you know, don't take into account is that, um, I'm still, you know, in the in the wake of getting my shoulder fixed. I had my shoulder fixed in March of 2019. I was down six months from that. I had to put all my size back on. And then right when I had all my size back on, it was time to start prep for what was supposed to be the New York Pro in May of last year. We all know how last year went. I spent 10 months on prep last year, won Tampa, and then went and placed eighth at my first Olympia. So moral of that story is I have yet to have a true extended off season since having my shoulder fixed and uh, you know I freaked people out with how much progress I made this last year uh, it's gonna be even more with a real off season I can promise you that the other thing that I really think made a huge difference uh, was optimizing my digestion um, I did that you know several ways the main one in my opinion though was removing egg whites from my diet and replacing mm. it with the pro series isolate so in the past I had been doing 500 ml of egg whites for my first and last meal I had always been drinking them until I was starving, and despite everyone going, oh, you don't get all the protein from that, it's not optimal, blah, 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 blah. In my head, it was, if I was missing 100 grams of protein for the last six years, I wouldn't have grown like this. Well, you know, I finally listened. It was Liv that made me do it. I eliminated egg whites from my diet, and within one week, the amount of gastrointestinal distress that I had was probably cut in three quarters. Uh, my bowel movements became much more regularly and consistent and just overall digestion was improved tremendously. Um, that and then uh, Revive's uh, GI Plus made a huge difference for me too. I have to plug that and give them a shout out for that. But uh, those two things made a huge difference in my digestion and overall digestion is like key. It's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. So um, it was really, really an awesome move dietary wise to move to the whey protein instead of the egg whites. So that made a big difference too. Now, speaking to that point, you know, you made quite a change between the Mr. Olympia and the Chicago Pro. What did you weigh at the Mr. Olympia and what did you weigh at the Chicago Pro? So morning of prejudging for the Olympia, I was 248. And then morning of prejudging for Chicago, I was 254 and a half. So six, six and a half pounds. But I was leaner at Chicago. And, and, so and it's leaner. probably yeah. more like eight-ish like eight pounds sure, of stage weight sure. in like seven months. Yeah, which, which I'll tell you is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, any of you guys that are bodybuilders know how difficult it is to put on lean muscle tissue. And especially in that short amount of time, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, so, um, uh, you know, you, you've got a, uh, you know, obviously you got a great physique. You got a, uh, a great work ethic. Uh, you got a great training partner that you work with, a great team. Had of a good example. <laughs> Thanks for that. Any shout outs that you want to uh, uh, make to yeah, any of your team? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, first and foremost, all glory to God. Without him, none of this is possible. Amen. His career, my career, this business, nothing. Um, you know, second, definitely want to give a huge shout out to this guy right here. Thank um, you. You know, I, I've grown up knowing that anything is possible as long as you work hard uh, because of him. So I uh, can't tell you how fortunate I feel to call him my dad. Um, you know, moving on beyond that, I have to give a huge shout out to Brian. Uh, you know, he got me through uh, this prep and basically every other prep that I've had uh, in my bodybuilding career. I have fun doing this with him every day. Um, you know, I really am looking forward to seeing how far we take this. Uh, to live, um, you know, I couldn't do this without you, baby. Um, you know, you took such good care of me on this prep, and you know, I had so much fun doing this with you. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Olympia, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to uh, the rest of them with you. Um, Ryan Brown, thank you so much for keeping my body working. Um, you know, like I said, I had my shoulder fixed, and you know, at this level, you don't make it through prep without getting banged up. So. You know, he kept me in the gym, kept me feeling as good as I can, and then traveled with me the week of the show and uh, made sure I was at my all-time best. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate him. 
Um, and then outside of that, I really just got to give a shout out to my crew. Um, I hope I don't miss anybody, but y'all know uh, how much y'all mean to me. Uh, Kyle, Wake, Haley, Travis, Anita, I appreciate the hell out of all of y'all. I uh, could not do this without y'all, and even if I could, it wouldn't be fun. So thank y'all so much for everything y'all do for me. That's great, Hunter. That's that's really great. Well, Hunter, we wish you the best of luck as you start getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. And as uh, Hunter mentioned early on in the video, uh, we're going to be covering that entire series of prep here in the next few weeks. So we'll hope that you will uh, uh, join us and follow along. And uh, we thank you again for joining us today. And without further ado, I'm Lee Labrada with Labrada Nutrition. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.